Hey guys, so recently I have been trying out iPod Touch and I have already tried out like iPod first generation, second generation, third generation and today we have fourth generation here and although I have first generation, second generation and third generation device, I haven't made any kind of video about them. Maybe in future I will try to make videos but all of these devices are pretty same so that's why I'm not making. So this iPod fourth generation device I bought for about ten dollars so it is a 64 GB variant and actually I'm enjoying using this device actually it's listening music it brings back a lot of memories although as a child I haven't used iPod back then I was using knockoff of like iPod uh, there was some Chinese mp4 and mp6 players back then I got one of those in 2009 I was using that actually that was called mp6 player it it got camera and like in built storage and you also can put sd card that was quite good one actually but it, that one didn't last long maybe i used it six months and it's died this device actually released back in 2010 if you see the design this one is see how thin is this device it is a 7.2 mm thickness and if you hold it in hand it, it feels premium actually so apple de design is actually really good so the design still holds up although the back gets scratched pretty badly so as you can see it got a lot of scratches uh, over the years of using but the device is still running pretty well and the battery is, is still holding up pretty well here so this was the first device which got a 3.5 inch retina display like first ipod touch and also it got apple's own design processor f4 processor here so and also it got 256 mb of ram and there were a few variant of this device actually 8 gig 32 gig and 64 gig variant and here i have 64 gig one so as you can see here there is nothing much going on by the way so the device is running on mine one is running on 6.0.1 maybe and you can update this device to 6.1 now one bad thing about this kind of devices right now is that updating this device a little bit tricky and also like if you have one with stuck with like passcode and other things it is pretty difficult to restore the device the itunes doesn't work most of the time uh, you have to use different kind of itunes to like restore the device so in my case also i have to try out a lot of application just to restore my other devices like I put second gen and third generation devices all of those stuck on like iTunes logo so pretty difficult one thing very easily can be done is that installing Cydia or jelly breaking the device so if you guys want a tutorial about it you can let me know in the comment section below so uh, maybe I will make a video about it so as you can see I, I have installed few application here and also one more thing about this device is that uh, this device got like cameras too so this rear camera is 0 0.7 megapixel and the phone camera is 0 0.3 megapixel and the phone camera apple used for very long time like even iphone 4 4 has also got similar camera maybe and this camera it does work well and that the pictures have like retro vibe to it so let me show you a few pictures i have taken with this so you go here yeah as you can see here it got 0 0.7 megapixel camera and everything blows out pretty bad looking but it has like retro feel to it and i kind of enjoy using this camera and because it brings back a lot of memories like using old devices as you can see if it gets enough light it does take pretty good pictures as you can see here but not really no one going to like buy this device nowadays to take pictures it's just a nostalgic factor for me and as you can see here and i did take a video too here so let me show you so as you can see here the video also does look pretty good so the video also does look good and also this one is like first ipod touch which has a speaker grill on ipod touch 3 touch and touch to don't have any kind of speaker grill and the speakers were pretty bad on them but this one got a pretty good speaker actually uh, it's very tiny and usually no one like listen music with this device using the speaker basically 
everyone use earphone and the output of earphone is pretty good it does work pretty well now if you want to get one of this you can get it pretty easily very cheap price and i think it is better buying this device than buying some chinese knockoff mp3 players because those are sucks so but this one does work pretty well and still you can connect to the wi-fi and if you really want to browse something you can browse let me check something like we can browse or not i didn't try anything on this device actually i just put music and few applications and just try out so as you can see wi-fi is connected let's try youtube so i did put a the old youtube and as you can see here the old youtube maybe it will not work i'm i'm 100 percent sure it's not going to work but as you can see skip and it is asking me to like sign in and as you can see here it doesn't work and let me try facebook maybe facebook will work and it will ask me to log in pretty slow though this device is pretty slow i have to say but for music it does pretty well actually so youtube maybe may not not work we do have instagram too here so these are the old like social media applications which i have like site loaded and maybe it's, it's instagram will work not sure about that spotify will not work definitely not work uh, back then when i was trying in 2020 on my iphone 4s Spotify used to work actually, but nowadays Spotify doesn't work anymore on the older devices. Now I have installed few games here actually, as you can see here. Uh, we have Temple Run 2, Temple Run. So let's try Temple Run 2. Maybe this one will work. Few games doesn't work for some reason. Uh, they try to download something from server and they don't work. But most of them, those those like offline games does work perfectly fine. And this one does struggle in gaming actually but it still works actually yeah. there is nothing like as you can see here it is trying to download config something i don't think it can download but i did connect the wi-fi here maybe it will download the config yes um, yeah it cannot download maybe it cannot download it doesn't work oh okay 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 download it so it worked disable i don't really want so if you want to play some games if you like if you have one of these lying around just dusting or if it is passcode log or anything like you forget it you can still restore actually and you can jailbreak it and put some games on it and just use it like don't 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 just keep it use it uh, i do use older devices most of the time i just take them out and just wipe them and just go like menu and other things check out it work pretty well actually so this game is working pretty well on this device even even you know i have to say that even the android device with 512 mb of ram they struggle to run this game actually but here it is running pretty smoothly as you can see here L let me play a little bit more so yeah it is struggling a little bit but not much actually it is pretty playable actually you will not have any issue yeah. so as you can see here it's worked pretty well okay it's working as you can see it gets pretty slow but does work everything Let, let's try youtube directly from the browser uh, maybe it will not work but let's 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 try give it a try youtube Yes, we can't watch YouTube on this device. Maybe there are some fix about this device actually like using like YouTube and like I, now I can go like proceed to YouTube. But there are some fix like uh, about uh, like newer website to load. Maybe you can install it by CD or something like that. Or you can install Opera Mini 2 actually, but I haven't installed it yet. Maybe I will try to install it and try to browse. 
later on but anyway i'm not going to browse anything here this device basically just for music now as you can see it takes a lot of time no one going to watch youtube here but one thing is that the device is working if you buying for a music it will get the job done uh, the music quality is pretty good output is pretty good i i'm i'm not going to buy this device actually for like listening music i would prefer i would pay a little bit more and buy a ipod classic because that has like scroll wheel and the buttons i like buttons more than touch screen so i would not buy one of these but this one is pretty cheap actually those device pretty expensive like the, it goes like 50 50 to 100 dollars like ipod classics but this one you can get for 10 to 15 dollars one of these and this works perfectly fine so main thing i have to say is that don't buy chinese knockoff mp3 players just go for a second hand these devices and use them so that's all about ipod touch fourth generation thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time